I grew up with one of the biggest serving myths. And I remember that very clearly that I was taught to look like a bow when I'm serving and to use my left hip here to stick out, to really push into my left hip. And I'm hearing that a lot of times, push your left hip over the line, um, you know, really stretch here, get that arch. In German, we call that a bow, like you're an arrow and a bow. And I do honestly believe that that contributed to my shoulder issues that I had throughout my career. And it probably didn't help my serve either. So it did take me a long time to actually fix that because that is the wrongest coaching cue on the planet. My name is Micah Babel, former top 30 WTA. I'm gonna teach you how to actually serve correctly and use the ground as a source of power so you get more pop on the ball more consistency, more spin, and of course you're preventing injuries. So let's look at it. So again, it's that cue, push your left hip out into the court that hurts you. Because what you're doing with that is you're doing exactly that. You're transferring your weight and your energy forward. But that's the last thing that we wanna do. The ball's up over us, so we wanna go up and out. And you have to hit up on the ball. And Isner or um, Ivo Karlovic, they can hit almost down on the ball, but you have to be, what, six, seven or something like that? Also, we all have to go up to the ball. And by doing this, again, you're transferring your energy forward. So we need to go up and out. If I want to go up and out, I first have to go down and back. So what you're now doing is you're loading your right, for me, I'm a right hander, your right leg and your right hip. The best servers, Federer, uh, Barty, Sam Stoser, uh, John Isner, they all have phenomenal load and a really effective transfer of power from the ground up. None of them stick their hips out intentionally. That's a consequence of what you're putting in here. It does look like my left hip comes out here, but that's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to load off my right leg. So there's a couple of ways that you can practice that and immediately get more power and more accuracy, more spin on your serve. So let's look at them. The first one, and this is one of the drills that I used to do when I was on tour, is have a weighted ball. This is, or in this case, it's almost a weighted lentil. It's two pounds, a little deformed. And instead of throwing forward, like a lot of people and a lot of coaches will have you train, you actually, have more of a shot put and it's going up and out. So you see my right shoulder dip, my right knee bending, and I'm going down and back with my hip and I'm pushing up. Up and out. So experiment with that a little bit. Also be careful that you're not throwing that thing on your head. and you immediately feel that you're having a better dip, a better load here in your right hip. So down and back, up and out. So that's your first drill. The second drill looks a little funky. Maybe do it when nobody's watching first. You're just serving off your right leg. Looks a little bit like the karate kid, um, but it's a really effective way to learn how to effectively load your right hip. So you're just basically bouncing on your right leg and you're dipping down and then you're going up and out. And without a whole lot of effort, all of a sudden you're getting a lot of pop on the ball. So let's do that a couple of times and see how that goes. Feels a little wacky. But when you do that often enough, it becomes a lot more natural when you're then using both of your legs, of course, to dip into your right hip and load your right hip. So the thing is that you really want to prevent is to turn open too soon. And that is exactly what you would do if you're learning a serve like a pitch. That's the last thing that you wanna do. You wanna stay side on, in your loading position. And when you watch the best servers, 
they're almost side on when they're making contact, side on with their non-dominant side. All right, so for me, left shoulder, left hip. And you also have in the cues, shoulder over shoulder, hip over hip. So my left shoulder is now over my right. Right hip is below my left. And then as I'm coming out of my load, it's reversed. So this is the position that I want to achieve, which I'm not going to if I throw, if I hit my serve like a pitch. So those two drills, the weighted ball, and then also serving off your right leg should add a pretty good pop to your serve without too much effort. Let me know in the comments how that works for you. I really want to know if you're experiencing more pop. Go ahead, leave me a message there.